We are headed out on Revan Tulico's multiplayer today. Why, you ask? Pretty much specifically because Eurasian Widgeon exists here, and we still don't have a diamond one of them. Plus, I think this is still only our third ever multiplayer hunt on this map ever. We had the single player challenge going for forever trying to get all the diamonds, and this map just always tends to produce something good. So hopefully that will remain to be the case today. A couple of things out here already. Dropped a Canada Goose, happened to be a level 2 female. And we also have out there a level 5 Raccoon Dog, which was about 180 out. Now, I have been told that the zeroing on the 243 has been fixed, and when zeroed for 300 meters, it actually hits dead on at 300. At some stage today, I want to test that too. But the main thing is, we do have the 1894. We're going to try to use that as much as possible on this hunt and see if somehow we can look into something else good on this map. And certainly a fast start. Ended up with two kills, both silvers, but double along that at 180, not too bad. And I think between deer, brown bear, specifically lynx, obviously that's the class three animal we can take with the 44. There should be plenty of opportunities for the new rifle. So I'm looking forward to this. Like I said, we just haven't hunted here in multiplayer much and I think every time we have, we've gotten something good. Now, it would be a shame if we didn't fire the new rifle sometime in the first couple of minutes of this video, so with a decent estimate links track, followed this guy, took forever to get a shot, but that brought him down and I thought I maybe heard a widgeon somewhere on our left. I guess if we did, we not, I did hear one. Probably spooked him by now, but we'll at least try to spot. It's that whole flock right there. Just make sure there's no level 3s in there. And it's just as simple as that. That's why I want to be here, just on the off chance that a level 3 does fly by. We could use the new collar set up to do the whole thing. But anyway, no big surprise. Ended up shooting somehow. Okay, that is a surprise. Never mind. <laughs> we hit the lung on that? We were too far to the right. I wonder if he turned? No, we shot through the back leg. Just didn't hit intestine, stomach, or liver, and then clipped the right side of the lung. Learn something new every day. I didn't even know you could really do that, but we'll take a little gold there. What's so odd is we're lagging on, like, exiting from the harvest screen, not entering the harvest screen. So, hopefully that's not going to cause us any issues. What the heck? A melanistic brown bear track, and it's a solid estimate. 296 to 389 kilo. Just, like... Darn near tripped over that as we scoot through here. Got some ptarmigan flying by, but anyway, we're going to see if we can find that in potential cool things to take with the 44 liver action. We'll definitely try. Man, we must have gotten right up to it. It's a level 5? So unfortunately, a little on the lower end. I literally, we almost never walk track anything. And we were walking along that track in hopes of not spooking it. No warning call, no anything. There may be a broadside shot opportunity, and given what we have done with this gun, I think that's the type of shot we might actually take. So, depending on what happens here, got a blonde level 3 female there too? But we might be able to get this. It's actually slowing to a walk. That's more what we're looking for. Did the second shot impact? We got something good in there. I think we got a vital, so all things considered, not bad. Got a little Willow Tarmigan here. Might as well blast that as well, just making the most of Reventuli being Reventuli. Lots of opportunities here. That's kind of alarming. Oh boy. I hope we can claim our bear. Okay, I'm just going to mark this general location and maybe get back on his tracks because we've seen this before. If you can get back in a server, you'll actually keep the same, like, tracks highlighted. There's Vital Blood. Everything kind of worked. Okay, what the... All right. Maybe we can claim it. I don't know. I mean, look at how he dropped. It's the coolest, perfect little spot here. 
and I don't know if we can claim it, I'm still waiting. Just kind of hoping that harvest screen pops up like it did for the ptarmigan. The fact that we're seeing things happening in the chat, people joining and leaving, in theory means we haven't completely lost connection to the server, so... <laughs> at least it was only a five, but I really want to claim it. Alright, take two, fingers crossed, rejoin the server. Hey, we got to claim it, it... that's weird. I've seen something like this before. I'm still gonna attack this. What's happening here is it's combining our username with another one from the server. I can't remember what other situation did that. It was a long time ago, but I, I have seen this in the Hunter before. What's nice? It looks like it did save our shot info. So we're actually able to see in both instances, that 44 round got into a lung. The second shot, by far the more impressive, but pretty cool. Interesting too, if you notice, it was laying in a different position. It wasn't over top of that log anymore. But, a couple of foreshadowing things in the last couple of minutes. First thing, I did say Reventuli multiplayer has produced every time, and while it took a little extra to claim that one, here we are again. The other side of it, pretty sure the kill before I mentioned the lag, and then immediately had problems claiming something, we'll stay here for now, I guess, but I don't know that I want to, you know, for instance, risk a level 3 widget if we would find one. Now, one thing we don't need a diamond of is a mountain hair, but anytime we find a max as a mid-track, we just gotta follow it. Diamond mountain hairs seem to be incredibly rare, and unfortunately this one just led us to a level 2, and I think with the score estimate, maybe it has a chance of 5.6 diamond for them? It is, but 4.93 scoring gold female. We'll definitely take it. Worth a try to go and look for that. And in the meantime, just weaving between all these lakes, checking out every widget that flies by. Kinda starting to feel like we're hunting bobcats on New England. We're just tracking stuff over and over today, but kinda same deal, max estimate raccoon dog track. Can't not follow it, so actually, doesn't look like it's terribly far away, shouldn't take too long. Is dark brown rare for them? Or am I crazy? Because I kind of think dark brown is rare for them. This is just... Not at all the hunt that I thought we were going to have. There's a female one out there. I guess he's not with that. That's going to be it. It's a mythical. I'm still unsure if that's a rare variant. I think it is. Just rolled him there. I, I want to get a good look at it. And just try to determine if that's something that we've ever seen. But I think that's one of those odd ones, almost like dark gray, gray wolves. Gray is common. Dark gray was made rare, actually maybe when Reventuli came out. Yeah, that, I don't think we've seen one of these before. I am fairly confident that is an 8.84 scoring rare that we shot in the perfect spot, neck and lung. Gonna tax that real quick, just in case anything else odd happens today, but I just don't think I've ever seen one quite like this. I will confirm that, but I'm pretty sure that's a way cooler rare than our Melanistic. We didn't have to rejoin the server to go claim it this time. And what's that been? A minute? Two minutes? <laughs> and we just failed to synchronize. That could have been bad. So into literally the only Reventuli Coast multiplayer server now open. And in between that, I did go and check. From what I could find, dark brown for raccoon dogs is definitely rare, and potentially more rare than the orange variant, which is what was our first rare raccoon dog ever from our grind. So pretty darn cool. Almost missed out on getting that. We were a minute or two from desyncing there. And actually we find more raccoon dogs. Level 2 standing there. Might as well try to get that as we can hear Widgeon in the distance again. And... Failed to synchronize. Might be going to single player for the rest of this. Now, as we are back in single player, one thing we haven't done as much as planned was actually make use of the 44, which that's probably a first. We've been using this thing a lot on every hunt. But there's lots of small game on Riventuli, and of course we shot our Melanistic Brown Bear with it. I think 
one Lynx and the Brown Bear plus this Moose has been it to this point. But I mean, getting that mythical rare Raccoon Dog was pretty awesome. That's our third rare one now. We also had, I can't remember if it was level four or five, but a little piebald from our grind as well. But our first multiplayer rare Raccoon Dog in, you know, one of our first multiplayer hunts ever on this map, a year plus after its release. Pretty darn cool. Heart double lung and liver just the 44 doing 44 things on the moose here. 170 silver. And we'll just keep on scooting over through here. I want to get at least over through these lakes. Seems to be some of the best area for Widgeon. And while we haven't shot a ton on this map, that doesn't mean there couldn't be a level 3 waiting on us on our single player map. And it actually looks like our last kill may be one last link. So what I want to do is not that. Hopefully we can get a proper shot here. That's looking a little bit better. I wanted to get kind of the same angle as the first one, but see if we ended up with that kind of just grazing the side of the lung. Instead, whiff twice and then I can only imagine hit something good because even as powerful as the 44 is, just intestines or something wouldn't insta-kill. And as the blood would indicate, we did hit the lungs on the third try. Double lunged it, in fact. We will take that 21.81 score. And we have a gold rare raccoon dog to bring back to our trophy lodge. And I think we've maybe reached a point with our trophy lodge where it's time to start making some kind of tough decisions. What I really like to do is have at least one of every diamond displayed. But something like this, it's got to be a full body mount. And there's literally nowhere, minus taking down other cool things that we have displayed, where we could put this. But I mean, at 8.84, I think it was, it's only about 0.5 shy of diamond. It's a really solid rare. And it's directly across from our diamond raccoon dog with the Willa Ptarmigan. So we may do a multi-mount with this one too, just to kind of have that mirroring. And the problem is what happens with the jackal is it probably has to go on the wall. And what I want to look at is maybe potential for things that'll look better on the wall than the jackal. So if we were to put that up there, there's no kind of like mount from the midsection or something like what you can do with the grizzly bears. But I guess for the moment, we're gonna go with that. Eventually I'll go through here and see if we can do something a little bit better. I don't love predators on the wall, especially not when you have to do basically a shoulder mount. But like I said, it's such a cool kill. And like, just to compare them, if you just look at that, you maybe don't realize the difference. But your normal common raccoon dog, it does look very, very different than that. I really like the look of it. There are no melanistics. That's almost like raccoon dog melanistic, the dark brown variant. Pretty sweet. All because we headed to Revan Delicos for Widgeon and never shot a Widgeon. But two rares, a melanistic brown bear and a much better dark brown raccoon dog. Definitely cannot complain about a hunt like that. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.